Hi, I'm Sonia. Welcome back to my channel. I'm so glad you're here with us today. Today I'm going to be showing you a little bit of my garden. Uh, we haven't done anything since last year, so we need a big cleanup. We need to get planting. Uh, it's just starting to warm up here. The sun is out today, so it's even so chilly. I still have my hoodie on. Um, I'm going to show you what we're doing and what we're planting, what we have going, maybe give you some inspiration and even show you like some ideas of how you can use your land better. You know, if you don't have a lot of land, I'm not like a farmer. I don't have a huge backyard. I have a really small backyard. Uh, backyards in this area are really small because it's the cost of uh, land here. Anyway, so I'm going to show you some ideas and give you some inspiration. And if you also have any ideas for me or tell me what I'm doing wrong, because I'm not a farmer. I know some of the farming channels that maybe watch me or homestead channels have some ideas if I can grow things better. Feel free to leave it in the comments. I'm open to change things up. So, okay, let's get going. Okay, y'all, first thing I thought we'd do is take a little tour of our yard before we get started on our garden. This is our fig tree. Um, it's actually really big and we've just started to get some figs on it. We've only had it, I think a year or two. It's starting to sprout, um, starting to get a few things on it. Sorry about my dog landmines. Um, and here is our apple tree. It is a grafted one and we have all dwarf, tree, tr dwarf trees, hoping that they don't get so big. Uh, primarily I think we see Granny Smith's apples on this. I can't remember what else it was grafted with. Um, I'll have to ask my husband. He's not home, of course, when doing my voiceover. I originally did record it, but it was so windy that day. It's like you can't really hear my voice, so I just do a voiceover. So this is one of our apple trees, and this is a Asian pear tree. And it actually also is grafted, and it can self-pollinate, because normally you have to have both of them. And these are our boxes along the back. All these um, have grapevines in them. Originally they were built because we were losing a lot of soil along the back and the side of our house. So instead of getting a retaining wall on the back and the sides, my husband decided, well, why don't we just do planter boxes? And so here they are. We have grapevines going all the way across and we have gotten some grapes. Uh, one of my friends just told me that I think we need to trim them a little bit more. So I'm gonna take their advice and try to trim them see if we can get more grapes this year. This is a Honeycrisp apple tree. We do get a ton of Honeycrisp apples. Uh, unfortunately, we've been getting a lot of worms. I also don't wanna use a lot of pesticides on my trees uh, because my dogs and obviously we're eating it too. Um, so if you guys have any thoughts of what we can do to get rid of like all the worms in our apple trees, that would be Really appreciated. Um, I'm gonna ask when we go to the nursery. This bud got attacked uh, just about a week ago. There is a little critter in there and my dogs, uh, I guess was underground, they dug until they got it and killed it and brought it to me as a surprise. Um, Tex, even though he's a big boy, he is fast and he uh, doesn't like anything in our backyard. He brings me presents all the time. Uh, this one is a pear tree. It is another grafted dwarf tree, and there's actually four different kinds of pears on it, and we do usually get good pears. We mostly get the red Bartlett pears on this, or the ones that we've gotten last year. There's also a Bosque pear, an Anjou pear, um, one other pear, I can't remember what it is, um, but there's four different pears on that tree and we usually do get pears off this tree. If you're wondering where we got all these grafted trees, um, they're actually from Costco. I bought them as a gift to my husband because if you don't know, he grew up on a farm and he really enjoys growing things actually. So these were, I can't remember, maybe a Father's Day gift and I bought all these trees or maybe two years, I don't know. So, and here's our last box. Um, and I planted some lavender in the front of this. It seems to come back year after year. And so those grapes kind of taste like lavender. And here is a big plum tree and it is also a grafted one. And so they actually kind of bloom and we get different kinds of pears at different times of the summer. There is a quick view of my roses when they get going, I'll be happy to share them. Okay, here's a garden that we have done nothing with all winter. It is gonna need quite the cleanup and quite a lot of work that we are gonna be showing you today. Um, it is a really nice garden. Again, we 
built this instead of building a retaining wall because we were losing so much soil. My husband and son actually built it themselves. Here's a few pictures from the original bills. You can tell how long ago it is. My son is like little and now he's ginormous and tall and big guy. Um, here's him helping his dad. So they actually built all of these boxes themselves by just picking up some plies at Home Depot and built all the boxes going along the back and into the garden. So if you, uh, it's really, you can do it. It's not like super hard. If you're thinking about do it, I would say do it. We actually had to get uh, soil delivered because again, it was eroding across the back and the side. And so you put it all together. And here is the original one when they got it going our first year. But we've had it now for, I think, uh, five years now. Um, I just want to show you, we actually have herbs and they re they come back every single year, even though it snows here. I have oregano, I have sage growing, I have thyme, and I literally have done nothing this entire winter to help them. Uh, all of my little uh, labels are actually made on my Cricut machine and just put them onto some rocks and painted them. And here is our chives. Again, we haven't cut anything down this entire winter so and then here is just a little look at the back in the back we have um, some raspberries and here is mint we planted a few years ago we planted two different kinds of mint the only thing is they keep coming back and they kind of taken part of our you know beds over here's the raspberries that are going in the back all the rocks I'm gonna put back out for the different things and the raspberries in that whole area needs to be weeded and the raspberries trimmed. Last year was the first year I finally got some raspberries uh, thanks to one of my relatives who told me how to finally trim them. And these are hooks for actually some outdoor lights. Last year I made them myself. I got a little water in them and this year I know how to make them better. This my husband made himself out of just some bamboo. He cut down out of um, a neighbor's yard that was able to give it to us and he made himself because I didn't want to spend a ton of money on making a trellis and this is what we're working with today we got to get it all done today while my husband had some time to do it I was gonna show you my front yard here is a ever bearing strawberry patch they actually nothing you have to do you just put them in the ground and every single year they give you tons and tons of strawberries and we are so lucky we get really a ton of strawberries and they just keep coming throughout the entire summer we just get a lot of strawberries right there and You'd be amazed at how big, how much strawberries we get out of this one little patch. I will show you later on in the summer. Maybe we'll make something fun with all the strawberries. I just want to show you this. If you guys watched last year's rhubarb video, I made like a rhubarb peach crumble, I believe. Anyways, this is rhubarb and actually gets ginormous. And I get tons and tons and tons of rhubarb. So this year I'm going to have to try to think of some new recipes for all of us to do something with all of my fresh uh, rhubarb. And these are cherry trees. We actually have two cherry trees in the front. I'm just showing you one because one is around my neighbors and me kind of in between our houses that we planted. Um, so I didn't want to bother them. And this, uh, like I say, they are cherry dwarf trees. This is a sweetheart cherry. The other one's a different kind. <sighs> I can't remember. I know my husband always tells me. Again, these are kind of his thing. He's really into fruit trees and into gardening. I help but my husband's really a lot more into it. And here's some of my pretty flowers. I have peonies up front. We have tons of rosemary. And here's a rosemary. It's kind of looking dry. I don't know what I need to do with it. I think it just needs some sun and some trimming. And then I have uh, like five hydrangeas, which I love. Because it's like the dark blue flowers. When they come up, I'll show you guys how gorgeous they are. Okay, so there is it for my little tour. Remember, you don't need a huge amount of land to plant a lot of fun things. These peonies are about five times as big. Okay, let's get to our garden. The reason why you clicked on this video. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed our little tour around. We're gonna get started. Hopefully I can show you some stuff. But obviously I gotta work at the same time, so we'll see what I can do. Okay, so here it is. Again, a quick look at our pre- Oh my gosh, we have an entire afternoon of work ahead of us. And 
Here it is, we're getting started. If you're wondering, Tex is always trying to be helpful and just lay it in our beds while we're working. We have already at this point gotten to, I've gotten to two of the beds and of course I gave my husband the hard beds when he volunteered. Those, to get the mint out, you really need a big shovel. I kind of pulled these out by hand and with a small shovel and tried to get all the weeds out so that we could get planting again. Again, here's our big guy, he's always, He's always there with us, if you're wondering. Labs are like the greatest dog ever. And we got to the other half. I got to those beds while my husband, again, was working down in some of the harder beds. And he was trying to get all of the weeds kind of in the walkway because we wanted to get all of those down because we wanted to put in some more mulch when we also added in some more soil. I want to show you this. We actually, as you can see, we had to add in our gate into our garden, which my husband did. Super handy, I know. And I think we picked this up also at Home Depot. I love these wind chimes, you guys. My son made them for me when he was young, and I was like, oh, I know this is the perfect place for them, and they've been there ever since. I love those kind of gifts for kids. So this is the lash that my husband uh, put into our garden, obviously to keep our dogs out because if not, they would get into them and lay down and do all kinds of stuff into our garden. Um, and here it is, we cleaned up all the beds, we cleaned up the walkway so that we could get going on it. And then after that, I put down some compost before I started planting and mixed it into the bed so we could get a little bit more nutrients. And here it is, I decided to put in some basil this year, cilantro, dill mesclun mix and i wanted to show you this mesclun mix if you guys haven't used these easy tape ones you need to give them a try i tried them last year and i was so impressed of how easy it is to grow with them and trust me i am not great at growing things i want to throw this out there and if i can grow things you can grow things so it's almost like feels like a thin kind of paper towel that unrolls then you just cover it with soil and you can buy these at your local Home Depot, Lowe's, probably gardening center, wherever you live. So this year I'm doing like romaine this week and the seeds are actually in it. So you just cover them up, water, and that's it, they grow. This year I did my mesclun mix, which is like a spring mix like this. I did um, some lettuce like this. I also did some cilantro like that. Here is our tomatoes that I decided to plant this year. Last year I planted a lot more tomatoes, but I think they got too like <coughs> close together. So here are some of the tomatoes that I picked for this year. I actually picked the yellow cherry hybrids. And so I have one whole box that I did just yellow um, tomatoes. Sorry, I need to get better at like holding my camera and then getting it to focus. Um, and here are some of the other ones that husky cherry reds. I got all small tomatoes because um, I kind of like them better. There's Tex. Uh, again, he's always here. And I believe both of these I did the, I think they're called super sweet. Yeah, super sweet 100s. And then this year I did something different. I did the San Marzano tomatoes. My husband loves them. Uh, we always buy the canned ones from Trader Joe's. If you guys haven't had San Marzano tomatoes, you're missing out on life. Here's my cucumbers, and I did those with those easy tape things, so I buried them underneath, and I went ahead and put our bamboo trellis, and so when they start coming up, I'm ready to go. And this on the back is ready from, it's from last year, but that's how we got some of our peas to grow up, because they start growing so fast here, and the peas just shoot up that you need something for them to kind of hang on to. And here's our raspberries, we kind of cleaned up the area sorry it went a little fast and here's the lettuce i planted again i use that tape to go across and the dill i did seeds for dill and here is my cilantro and over there was some parsley and that's about all i did for this year so far i think i might get maybe some more i don't know so last year i put some lettuce in some of my beds for my grapes so I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a little bit more or not I'm kind of I don't know so we'll see I'll let you guys know if I decide to plant some more and maybe in one of my uh, videos later in the summer I'll give you guys a little update on it and I'm sure I'm gonna use a lot of this stuff 
to obviously cook with in the kitchen. There's me calling Tex out because my husband needed to lay down all the mulch. So it is all the mulch and all of the pretty lights that we made. My husband actually helped me remake them. Last year we made them, but then we didn't seal the top. And so some water got in. They still worked, but they weren't. Originally, I was going to buy maybe some new lights off of Amazon. But when I saw how expensive they are, I was like... No way. We're just going to remake them the way we did last year. Next week, I'm actually going to be bringing you two shorts. And one of them is going to actually be how to make these lights. Believe it or not, these lights are actually made with all Dollar Tree products. I told my husband last year what I wanted. And he's like, you know what? I think I could. I know how to make these. He's really, uh, he has a lot of great ideas. So, especially he always wants to make his wife happy. So these are the lights that we came up with together, and I'm going to show you next week in a little short um, how to make them. Actually, I had my second vaccine this week, and last time I had like, okay, a big reaction to it. So I don't know how this next week's going to go, so I'm just going to make some shorts for this next week ahead. Um, and here it is. We put in our little tomato cages already. Thank goodness the dogs probably would have already trampled them and it helps them grow and gives Okay, well, support. thank you guys for joining us today. I hope you got some inspiration and getting your gardens going. Let us know what you're planning. We'd love to know. Um, I think we're going to come back a different day and finish up my rose buds and the buds for all my grapes. They need a little freshing up. We kind of filled them today, but I'm actually going to think I'm going to plant something in front of them maybe. And then the front, we got to mulch and clean it up but we did a lot of work today and i'm starving so we're gonna go eat some yummy food and we hope you enjoyed it let us know what you're planning this year and we'll see you next week thanks so much bye and be sure to give us a big thumbs up okay see you next week bye bye there you can see it is gorgeous This time of year, you can hear the frogs out at night. It's actually really, I don't know, I like the sound. But here is the lights and what they look like. So make sure you check back this coming week. I'm going to have a short on how to make these fun lights, and you're going to want to make them. Mm -hmm.